Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a simple, no foundation makeup routine. I know a lot of us have to wear masks these days and similar like me, there are some days that I just don't want to wear foundation. So today I have a very simple routine for those of you out there who want to be able to cover up your blemishes and go for a really simple, almost no makeup makeup look on an everyday basis. Starting off with skincare, I've already prepped my skin with my toner and my serum. Then I'm going in with my CG Skin Idyllic Feels Daytime Moisturizer. This is a really good moisturizer for dry skin. In fact, it's amazing for all skin types because it is a water-free moisturizer. Comes in a cute little pump like this. The texture of this is super lightweight. It's a gel-like consistency. If you have sensitive skin or eczema-prone skin like me, you will love it because it has 71.9% oats, which is a super high concentration. If you are prone to redness or irritation, you'll know that oats is a very, very good ingredient to just strengthen your skin barriers, soothe sensitivities. I really love, love, love this moisturizer. It just sinks so well into the skin. Perfect for no makeup makeup days or in our humid Singapore weather. Also, I really love CG Skin because not only is their packaging super cute, I find that all of their products are made really potent and effective. This is waterless, which means whatever good ingredients you have in there is also a lot more potent and concentrated. So a little bit goes a really long way and I really do see quite amazing results with all of their products. One of my favourite products of the brand, um, of course, my dream capsule. You guys know I love that night cream. This one is the daytime moisturizer. If you pair them both together, they give you amazing results. Okay, so now that your skin is prepped, with this no foundation makeup routine, it's super important to have your base prepped. If you don't want to wear foundation, then you gotta make sure you got good, happy, healthy skin, right? I do have a few blemishes that I do want to cover. I want to leave my skin looking like nice and fresh and radiant. I have here color correctors. So the first one is the Kate Tokyo Skin Color Control Base. I have lavender and pink, which I'm gonna be using to brighten up my face and correct some yellow sallowness on my skin. So first taking lavender. Purple really helps to brighten up yellowness and I get a lot of yellowness around the sides of my mouth. better and then going in with pink this one just really helps to brighten and I like to concentrate it on my cheeks kind of underneath your dark eye circles all right now if you have dark eye circles like me you will need a salmon color corrector or a concealer. So this one is my Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light to Medium Bisque. You guys know I love to use this. This is amazing for people with a lot of pigmentation or blemishes, uh, especially if they are within the reddish, purplish kind of colour. And with this, I'm just taking my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Brush to just dab it very, very lightly. And this one really helps to cancel out purple dark eye circles that I have. Obviously shows that I haven't been sleeping enough. Next up, we have concealer, but I'm just going in very, very, very lightly. This one is my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin, and I'm in the shade 2.4. I'm choosing a shade that is very, very similar to my skin colour, rather than something brighter, because remember, we are not applying foundation, so you don't want it to be like white, you know? So same thing, just using the brush and stamping on areas where I actually need. And there you have it, a very, very natural, everyday base. And the best thing is, it feels so light and very breathable. Now it's time for the entire no makeup makeup look. I'm just going into focus a little bit on making my features stand out more. So I'm just taking my XL brow pencil. First, I'm using the powder side. 
Also using my brow pencil to just define my egg cell a little bit. For my eyeshadow, I'm just taking my contour, Peripera, the lightest shade, just to give my eyes a good wash of color. Nothing too fancy because it's a very natural look. And you wanna use the same brush, just bring the color down the sides of your nose as a very natural nose contour. And you can start from around this part of your brow just join it down, taper it in to the ball of your nose. Time for eyeliner. I'm opting for brown because black is a lot more harsh. It's good if you have a gel eyeliner. If you don't have one, a liquid eyeliner will do as well. Just keep it really close to the lash line, as close as possible. Putting my head back and filling in the gaps. You can use a brown liquid eyeliner just to clean up the edges for a nicer, cleaner look, like so. Eyelashes, use your favourite mascara. I'm using my Kate Tokyo Lash Former Mascara Base together with my Clinique Lash Power Extreme Mascara. Time to draw some lower lashes and you want to look for something that is a brown black, not black black. This Japanese brand called Yuzu, this is the eye opening liner. I got it from Osaka Kuma and I super love it. Eyes done. Now time for the cheeks and the lips. I'm choosing a lipstick as both my cheek and lip colour. This one is the Innisfree Jeju Colour Picker Camellia Petal Tint in 03. So it's got a nice like coral pink shade. Topping it up with my Unleashia Non-Sticky Dazzle Tint in 05. A little bit of highlight, this is the Clinique Luna Pop. Not too much. And this look is now complete.